We're now looking at the uh, Type RA STI. So here it is on the showroom here at Frank Subaru. I don't know. So you guys remember Emma, of course, and Ruel. He's been in a few of the vlogs. So we're all just we're all here at Frank Subaru, just admiring the car. It literally just showed up. They just pulled it in to the showroom. Your two cents, Ruel. That wing is, I'm sure, functional and Adjustable. probably makes sense. It's just small. compared to the guys we roll with, it looks so small. <laughs> it looks tiny. Carbon fiber roof is really cool. Silver calipers don't make sense to me. STI pink would have been super oh, sick. Yes. Uh, I mean, I love that everything's got little tiny STI logos on it. Like any Subaru or STI, like random little logos, I love it. I love anything with, with a Subaru logo on it. It's yeah, so little, tiny. It just makes me so happy. Little STI, so you know it's authentic. That's right. You can't get those on eBay. I looked. <laughs> <laughs> you look. Yeah, not yet. It's the first American USA Subaru that has real JDM carbon fiber. That's really the thing that makes it so special. Anything that you've seen up until now has been add-on aftermarket, cust hand done, but this is custom from factory, and that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Is there any engine or performance things that are? And I will show you. Our right, Emma. Whopping dampers. Okay. Oh, it's got Bilstein uh, dampeners in the suspension? Yep. Alright, you can't see them. Oh, you can see them. You can see the yellow Bilsteins. Can you? Yeah. Can you line them up? Stiffer suspension. I wish they made these for my car. The Japanese TS does have Bilstein shocks. Uh, I just can't find the part number, so I don't know. Legacy TS? So I don't know how to get them for my Legacy. Gloss black, all the accents. They got this ratch wrap job in white. I'm the <laughs> No, this is just to protect ah, the dude. Uh, you should have should have squeegeed that a little better. <laughs> I know, right? You guys got a heat gun? I'll fix that for you. <laughs> You're like, yo, we're gonna take this to premium, have them smooth that out. We're not gonna say the shop that did it because that's rude. Hashtag Long Depot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like one of our wrap jobs. Actually, ours. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't talk like that. Ours isn't that bad. Yeah. No, it's just protecting the uh, the gloss, gloss black. Yeah, yeah 19 inch uh, Yokohama tires. Back to the gold rims. Before I was a Subaru person, I used to not like, believe it or not, I didn't like the gold. But ah, it's just because it's so synonymous with Subaru. Right, dude? Subaru's gold wheels. I mean, it's usually World Rally Blue with gold wheels, but I think I like it, dude. I'd love to see the World Rally Blue with the gold rims. You guys want to sit in it? Let's sit inside. I, I always do a, a sit inside portion of this video. I'm always in the driver's seat. Why don't you sit in the driver's seat? Put your seat forward because you're short. Yes. <laughs> Damn. No, it's. I'm in shade for no reason. No, Emma's saying. <laughs> I don't know if you heard her, but she said, pull your seat up if you're short. Can you pull your seat forward because you're a tiny person? So, some of us are also six foot and sitting in the back. Yeah, seat, well, so. freaking gargantua back there doesn't have to make it all obvious. Like, can you move your seat forward because you're a dwarf? What did you call me? Gargantua the Amazon. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. I do love the steering wheel. This feels. Very nice, and like it's going to get disgustingly dirty almost immediately. Yeah, so wash your hands before you start driving this thing. Or I mean, I mean, Type RA drivers drive with gloves because yes. they're usually coming from BMWs. No, I'm kidding, joking. <laughs> I like the red push start button. That's unique to the Type RAs as well. Oh, that's pretty sick. And it's got the STI logo on it. Yes, like everything good. Dang. Look at that, they went away from the faux carbon fiber to just a sort of piano gloss black. So 395 out of 500. So does that mean there's 500 white ones or is there? 500 all together. Hmm. Okay. White, black, and World Rally Blue. This and is very comforting to me because it's like the front of every grandmother's uh, bread basket. <laughs> it just kind of slides back. This is way more fun with you guys. Like when I do this by myself, <laughs> I just feel like a creep. And the, I usually, the car I sit in is next to the reception's desk. So she just hears all the dumb things I'm saying. Maybe you shouldn't put your camera towards her and just zoom it in. Maybe she wouldn't find you so creepy. When I was here the other day, I was like making all these jokes and she didn't laugh at once. So either you have a very dedicated receptionist <laughs> or I'm just not as funny as I think I am. <laughs> the dome light here. Yeah, come on, dude. Does need an LED swap. It's short throw. Yeah, yes. short throw. That still feels like a gigantic shifter. Okay. Well, the shift knob is. So, I'm not sure which transmission. Oh, I know which transmission. It's the STI transmission. STI does a short, does a short throw, and the short throw that's in here, I believe, is a different short throw than what's available for the WRX. The STI short throw is the longest short throw <laughs> um, that's available. So. 
if you're interested in short throws, uh, it's actually better to buy an aftermarket short throw if you want something very, very short. So as Ruel was saying, that this has a longer throw than what's typical of a... It's got a decent throw, but the shifter itself is so long that you don't really notice uh, a shorter throw. The throw, Ruel, cool. feels like it's a little long. It could be because it's not an aftermarket short throw, or it could just be because this is very long, so... Cartboy got you. Yeah. Cartboy got you with a short shifter. So. We installed that in Dennis's car. It yeah, was heard. not easy. I so. heard that was a long day. <laughs> yeah. So this vehicle does have an EJ engine still. Yeah, that this like should still have the old uh, STI transmission. So most of the aftermarket short throws should work on this. Yeah. Okay, it was getting a little hot in there, so we had to get out. But cool. Recaro seats, STI uh, brand in the headrest. SDI here and the uh, whatever you call this thing where you side step still. side still. Thank you. It's glossy. It's going to be immediately covered in fingerprints, which means I'd be wiping it down every 40 sec seconds or so. So Ruel but really is all about this black gloss. It's pretty, dude. It look it looks fancy. You know what I mean? Yes. The only thing that could have been better is if they use real carbon fiber in the trim. Yeah. That would have been cool. I don't know. With the markup, they could. I think they could have sprung for a little carbon fiber. So how much more expensive is this Type RA than the... Than a normal STI? Yeah, a ballpark. We have taxes and fees for the county of San Diego out the door on a fully loaded STI. You're probably at about between 38 and 39, depending on the popular package. Wow. So it's a full 11, about $11,000 more before dealer markup. And this is, we actually have the cheapest dealer markup around too. Yeah. So what um, what is your dealer markup on the this? The dealer markup on this particular vehicle is 7995 so basically 8000 okay. um, I know comparable dealerships, I believe um, the dealership that will go unnamed, and then Glendale both have about 20000 in markups on this vehicle. All right, so if, if I were to buy this car today, which I'm not, don't get too excited. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so if I bought this like out the door, how much more would I be paying over a, a standard STI? So that's Ballpark. 58, so about 20 grand. Like 20 about grand? About 20 grand. Okay. But one in five hundred carbon fiber, car so. carbon fiber hood. We, we gotta really sell this carbon fiber hood because that's the, like the big thing mm -hmm. that you can't get on an STI. Can you get the wing uh, through the catalog? Um, I'm sure you will be potentially able to, but it most likely be, will be for warranty work. What you're really paying for with this car is the pinstripe. The pinstripe that we're not even sure if it's pink. Really, yeah, it could be red. This, uh, this pinstripe tape is actually twenty five hundred dollars per foot, so it adds up, you know, as you go around the car. Just a little out of breath, just finished doing all the uh, the B-roll, the slow-mo footage of this Type RA. Super great opportunity to have gotten to see this car in person, got to sit in it, really examine it, um, front and back, in and out. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you in your decision to buying one, I encourage you to like this video, hit subscribe so you can see more of the Subaru stuff that we do. A lot more fun videos coming this summer, so I've got things planned for you guys, more cars, uh, more trips, more just everything, so please like and subscribe. Alright, peace.